If you sell mugs or have been wanting to sell mugs, then this video is for you. But even if you sell any other print on demand product, this video is gonna be extremely helpful for you because I'm gonna show you exactly how I would do research for these products. So the tool I'm gonna to be using today is called eRank. If you are doing this research yourself, you are gonna need the eRank Pro plan, which you can get a free month trial in the links below. But what I'm gonna do is in the search bar, I'm gonna type in the product that I'm looking for and I am looking for a mug. So let's type that in and see what we get. So you can see that mugs are searched quite often over 100,000 times a month on Etsy, but they have close to 3 million competition. So we need to really niche down so that we're going to be able to make sales in mugs as beginners. But if we scroll down, we're going to find a bunch of sub niches. If we take a look at this, there are so many different niches in here with tons of data, which is kind of hard to understand which niches we should be going for. So I'm actually going to export this and we're going to start working with this data. So first your page might not look like this because I've already customized my columns, but what the main things I want to be looking at right now are average searches to Etsy competition. So if yours doesn't look like this yet, go on to columns and then you can just turn off any of the extra data. So you just have search trend, average searches and Etsy competition. Once you have this, we are now going to export this file. I don't have Excel, so I use Google Sheets for everything. So I'm actually going to export as a CSV file. After that, go into Google Sheets and open a brand new file. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to go to file import and we are going to open that new CSV file. Now you should have a file that looks like this and I'm going to create a brand new column myself and I'm going to call it competition to searches and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit equal and I'm going to grab the competition and divide it by the number of monthly searches and once I do this it's going to let me autofill all these columns and I'm going to hit accept and now I have a number that gives me how much competition there is per search. And now I want to filter this number because there is a whole lot of data in here. I don't wanna look at all of these at once. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna select everything. I'm going to go to data. We're gonna hit create a filter. And then beside this new column that we created, I'm gonna hit this button and we're gonna do filter by condition. And then we're going to go to less than, and let's say about five competition, and then I'm gonna hit okay. And now what we have is an ordered list with the number of amount of average searches with competition, and we know that these are not too competitive of niches. You do want to be extremely careful because things right here, we have this FFXIV, which I'm pretty sure is Final Fantasy. Sorry gamers, not that gamey. But coming down, Kirby Mug, sorry I should be Xing these ones out. Kirby Mug should not be doing that because that is trademarked. Same with Outlander. Hobbit is probably crossing a line, but we can see there are tons in here that don't have a lot of competition because they've probably been reported on Etsy and taken down. So just because it sounds like a good niche, it's because these stores have been shut down and don't go for them. But some of the good data that we are getting are things like Mushroom Mug, Tiki Mug, Otter Mug, Mug Navel, Octopus Mug. I'm not really sure anthropology is, but I would be highlighting this one as well. And I would go through this list and just highlight some of the ones that I think we can do. So now going through this list, here are 10 great ideas with searches and not lots of competition. So we have Mushroom Mug, Tiki Mug, Otter Mug, Mug Navel, Octopus Mug, skipping the ones that I've taken a look at or even Google, they did find out Anthropology Mug was a brand of mug, so I won't be doing those. We have Goldfish Mug, Delaware Mug. We have Prawn Mug, which is very interesting. Same with, let's see if I can say this word, Opth I can't, I give up, that mug. And we have a Barcelona mug. So there we have 10 great niches that we can test with our mug store on Etsy. And now if we wanna dig even deeper into those niches, we're gonna go back to E-Rank. And so we have found Mushroom Mug to be a great example. So now in the search, I'm gonna be typing in Mushroom Mug. And now again, in our keyword statistics, we can just see how well this niche might do for you. And scrolling down, if you wanna go 
even further niche down, you can find even more sub niches or more keywords that you can be using in this mushroom niche. So we have Otagiri mushroom mug, funny mushroom mug, mushroom mug handmade, 11 ounce mushroom travel mug, mug mushroom with lid, coffee mug. So these are other keywords that you can be using in your titles and your tags. And another thing that's really helpful to check is if you go back into E-Rank, over here, we're going to go to SERP analysis, which is search engine results page. So this is based on Google and Etsy. So coming into here, what we're going to find are most popular tags for this niche and product. So we've already found an unsaturated niche. We don't need to keep finding all these unsaturated keywords because we want to be including keywords in our titles and tags that our niche is actually going to type into Etsy or Google to find our product. So this most popular tags is extremely helpful because if we look through these, there are tons that we can be including in our keywords that someone might search on Etsy. And if they find our product, they would say, that is exactly what I'm looking for. Things like mushroom gift, mushroom coffee mug, mushroom mug, cottage core mug, mushroom cup, campfire mug, gift for mushroom lover. We have fall mug, mushroom lover's gift. All of these are other alternate ways people might search for a product like this on Etsy. And that is extremely important to know because that's what your titles and your tags should be filled with. Also, if you're planning to sell these and you want to see just how much your competition is pricing it for, you can scroll down here and we have an average price range based on Etsy sellers and how many listings are out there. So there's 11 listings, price around 16. We have $19, so around 16 to 20 seems to be the average price for mugs. The next thing that we wanna check is we wanna actually make sure that these are selling because people are searching it, it's not a lot of competition, but the problem is that niche is not buying these. That's also a problem. So what I like to do is I like to go back into Etsy and now we're going to look for the best sellers. So we see some right off the bat, but the best way to find best sellers on Etsy is this little trick. They don't have a best seller filter anymore, but it's there, it's just hidden. What you're gonna do is go to all filters. You're going to turn on star seller. And now you might not be able to see the URL here, but looking at the URL, on this page that's now open, you're going to see and is underscore star underscore seller. And we're going to change the word star to best. And I'm going to hit enter and let this new filter apply. So now you can see we have a bestseller filter turned on. We are going to ignore some of these first ones just because they're paid to be there. These are ads, but scrolling down, you're going to start to see all of the bestsellers using this keyword. And this niche does have bestsellers, meaning people in this niche are interested in buying mugs. And I would count this as a great niche to go for. And an extra tip, if you wanted to create, say, these mushroom designs for mugs, but you're not sure how to create them because they are a little bit more difficult than just being a text-based design. Unlike a lot of t-shirt designs, mugs are usually pretty artistic, but a great resource that you can use to find some files for you to use is from Creative Fabrica. So coming into Creative Fabrica, what we're going to do is we're going to search up the niche we're looking to create for. So for our example, we're doing the mushroom example. I'm going to hit enter and then scrolling down, you are going to see tons of different mushroom designs, ones that you can use as a full photo. Some you have little vectors where you can add text to them. One thing that is pretty important is adding things to your mug to make it your own. Otherwise, just anyone can compete with you, grab this file and copy you when this, once I see it's working. But doing something to make this your own is really going to help you stand out. So now that you know how to do the research behind the mugs and you've picked some niches, in my next video, I'm going to be going over how we create a best-selling design for niches like this and how we can get them listed in our Etsy shop and automated. So stay tuned for that guys and I will see you online sometime soon.